I'm Adanan and Gemology graduate. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to plot inclusions and blemishes inside a diamond. So in the previous video, we saw what clarity is, right? Clarity is basically the shininess and brightness of a diamond and how glittery the stone looks. And how exactly do we get this high amount of clarity? When there is no inclusions or blemishes present inside a stone, we get very good clarity. But how exactly do we know what are the inclusions and how are the inclusions present? Obviously, through looking through a microscope and all the loop and everything. But apart from that, we also need to grade all of these plots, all of these inclusions and blemishes inside a diagram. That is basically how we derive a clarity grade. So today we're going to be seeing how do we plot these and what kind of colors and markers do we use for that. Let's get right into the video. So let's start off with plotting the diamond. Each category of clarity characteristic is assigned a color. The colors and marking will help you identify each type of characteristic. So there are majorly three colors used, which is the red, the green and the black. So the red indicates the most inclusions that is present. Inclusions are particles that are completely included inside a stone. These are basically uh, unwanted particles that is present inside a stone naturally. That is called inclusions and red color is majorly used for uh, marking the inclusions. We then have the red and green. Both of these colors are used when used to indicate cavities, indented natural knots, edge channels and laser drill holes. So cavities, indented natural knots and edge channels are basically inclusions whereas laser drill holes are basically a kind of method that is done or kind of treatment that is done for covering up the inclusion present inside a stone. But to indicate all of these red and green color is used. We then have the green color which is used for indicating naturals. So naturals are basically completely you know occurred by the nature that is already present inside a stone in the raw format. We then have the final color which is the black. This indicates the extra facets. So as you can see in this list or in this picture you can see all of these are the inclusions and the diagram that is used for the inclusions. So the diagram that we are going to draw on is going to be a basic circle as you can see in this picture. This is how you will be getting a plot diagram. This is called a diamond plot diagram. So these are basically two simple circles with markings like a clock. So as you can see, the stone is flipped in the right side. So while plotting the inclusions of blemishes, we simply flip the stone and so the 6 will go to the 12 area and the 12 will come to the 6 area. As simple as it is, that is how we plot the below of the stone, that is basically the lower part of the stone. But while plotting the upper part of the stone, it's going to be like a clock, exactly like a clock from 12 to 6 and then again back to 12. So as you can see in this list, you can see there is laser drill hole. Laser drill hole basically has both the colors which is the red and green. The crystal is one of the most common inclusion that is there in many stones which will be a circle. The needle will be one straight thin line and then the pinpoint will be a small dot because these are very very small. And then we have a cloud which has a dotted circle. We then have the twinning wisp. It looks like a fence but a very curved fence and then we have the knot. The knot has again both the colors which is the green and red. We also have the feather. The feather is also a very important surface reaching inclusion that is present in many stones. This is a very curved uh, line and then we have the chip. The chip is like the uh, triangle but an inverted triangle. And then we have the cavity. The cavity has both the green and the red color. It is basically a circle, a green circle and then red lines are marked. We then have the bruise. The bruise is a small X mark. We then have the edge channel. Edge channel has a outer red uh, square and then an inner green square. We then have indented natural. This has both the colors green and red and then we have natural. This only has green because natural is the only thing, only inclusion that has the only color green. And then we finally have the extra facet which is in the black color. So these are the different inclusions and this is how all of these inclusions are plot. 
now that we have seen the colored pens that we have to use for the inclusions we're now going to see how exactly how we're going to start the procedure we can't directly just randomly start a stone and then you know just start uh, plotting right we have to follow a particular procedure we take a stone and then we first clean the stone step one is to clean the stone with a gem cloth and why exactly do we use a gem cloth because gem cloths do not have any kind of excess fabric present inside it and there is no threads hanging loose either this makes it easier to clean the stone in a better manner and makes it much more easier to identify the inclusions and blemishes present inside a stone for a grader we then use the top of the stone which is a table and then we identify the inclusions and blemishes present inside it and then we start plotting we either use red color green color or black color depending upon the inclusion or blemishes present in case if it's a, a crystal we use a red color pen to draw a circle if it's a needle we use a red color pen to draw a line and if it's a natural we use a green color pen to draw a triangle this way we will get the plotting of a diagram and the same method has to be followed for the pavilion of the stone too the pavilion of the stone is basically flipping the stone upside down we don't rotate the stone we don't uh, flip the stone left to right we just flip the stone up to down this way it makes it easier for us to plot the exact same inclusions present in the approximate place wherever it is there and that is about it for plotting and in the next video i'll come back more shortly with different content thank you guys